When it comes to going back to life as we knew it, high hopes have been pinned on antibody testing, making that possible. The test can tell if your body has been exposed to the virus. And a lot of labs now are offering this testing directly to you, the consumer, the public. But world health experts, and now a local infectious disease doctor, are saying a positive test may not mean immunity. Here's the I-Team's PJ Randawa. Strong words of caution about antibody testing from a local infectious disease specialist today. He tells the I-Team these tests may not give you what you're looking for. We don't have a very, very solid test right now. Therein lies the problem with current antibody tests on the market, says Dr. Alex Lacoste, infectious disease specialist with SSM Health. The FDA has only authorized eight antibody tests on an emergency basis, meaning they could skip most of the vetting process due to the pandemic. No, I, I think you know, there's been a lot of money involved in this and a lot of companies that w want to be a part of the market. Dr. Lacoste says there are still questions about whether the presence of COVID-19 antibodies in your system guarantees any level of immunity at all. We know that they can neutralize the infection. The question is for how long? Mm -hmm. And we don't know the answer to that. I mean, time will tell us if it's going to be a lifelong immunity or not. You may even see the words COVID-19 on the test, yet many of these antibody tests available at commercial labs are not testing specifically for COVID-19, but for coronavirus in general. None of these have gone through the rigor, the normal FDA rigor. Art Point Lab in Crevecore is offering one of these antibody tests for around $200. The lab's president, Scott Lambert, told the I-Team the presence of antibodies from another strain of coronavirus may provide a level of protection from COVID-19. That answer to me is not very scientific. Uh, coronavirus has been here since at least we know since the 70s when it was first described. So saying that, you know, there's partial immunity uh, from the other viruses that were in circulation for 50 years, you know, that's why do we have an outbreak right now with COVID-19? That means any result from a test that isn't specific to COVID-19 is essentially useless, says Dr. Lacoste, and basing your actions on the results could be risky. That's the difficulty about uh, uh, tests and, and tests that have to be developed very quickly is that we don't want to develop that so quickly that, you know, we won't have a test that's going to be really helpful for both the clinician and the, especially the patient. It seems like it's too early to trust any antibody test. Is that a fair statement? It is a very fair statement, yes, unless you're part of a trial in a very big academic center, like Mayo Clinic, for example. I'm an infectious disease doctor, and I'm telling you not to get a test about an infectious disease process. For the I-Team, PJ Randawa, five on your side. SSM Health is not using antibody tests right now. That will change in about two weeks. They're going to roll out an FDA-approved antibody test. And they're hoping that that will help get a clearer picture of the infection rate in the community. If you have a tip for the Five on Your Side I-Team, call us at 314-444-5231 or email fiveonyourside at ksdk.com.